नमस्कार टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एम्फीबोलाइट फेसिस द एम्फीबोलाइट फेसिस बिलोंग टू इंटरमीडिएट प्रेशर टेम्परेचर फेसिस इफ सपोज वी विल सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द इंटरमीडिएट प्रेशर फेसिस दैट इज जियोलाइट ग्रीन सिस्ट एम्फीबोलाइट एंड गैलाइट फेसिस एम्फीबोलाइट्स is comes after green cyst phases amphibolite phases the important contents are introduction second is your zone oblique subfaces stalloid zone important reactions mineral assemblages kyanite almandine zone mineral assemblages selenite muscovite zone mineral assemblages selenite orthoclase zone mineral assemblages physical condition of metamorphism and lastly conclusion so now take up the first module that is introduction on the basis of pressure and temperature we can divide the metamorphic phases into three types mainly phases of low pressure phases of intermediate pressure and phases of high pressure myosiro originally recognized three different phases series that is a zeolite prehanite pumpelite blue cyst eclogite type second a typical barovian type characterized by green cyst epidote amphibolite amphibolite gaunlite type characterized by paragenesis of kyanite selenite type and third an abukama type of green cyst amphibolite gaunlite characterized by paragenesis andalusite selenite type the abukama type is named after the abukama region in japan and it is similar to the buchen type of dalilian the phases of intermediate pressure in order of increasing temperature and pressure of metamorphism first is zeolite second green cyst phases third is amphibolite phases and fourth one is gaunlite phases the diagnostic mineral assemblages restricted to this phases are hornblende plagioclase and orthite nearly 15% almandine and hornblende plagioclase and orthite 15% epidote the appearance of any of the following minerals is decisive for the identification of amphibolite phases that is stalloite gracilorite andradrite diapsite cummingtonite and anthophyllite furthermore white mica which approaches fengite in composition in green cyst phases changes to muscovite abundance of almandine stalloite or kyanite and absence of corderite and andalusite distinguish peltic assemblages of the amphibolite phases from those of the hornblende hornfels phases of lower pressure metamorphism we can divide the intermediate pressure phases into four different zones that is your stalloid zone or stalloid almandine subfaces kyanite zone kyanite almandine muscovite subfaces and third is your selenite muscovite zone or selenite almandine muscovite subfaces fourth one is your selenite orthoclase zone or selenite almandine orthoclase subfaces now take up the first zone that is your stalloid zone oblique stalloid almandine subfaces the transition from the green cyst to amphibolite phases is best recognized by the diagnostic first appearance of stalloid and disappearance of chlorite and chloritoite in the presence of muscovite and quartz the reactions are first reaction the chlorite plus muscovite plus almandine garnet give rise to stalloid plus biotite plus quartz plus water which occur at 540 degree centigrade 4 kilobar 565 degree centigrade 7 kilobar carried out by hosek 1969 the second reaction is your chloritoite plus kyanite give rise to stalloid plus quartz plus water at 540 degree centigrade 4 kilobar carried out by hosek and richardson 1968 
The third reaction is chloritoid quartz, stolite plus almondine plus water, temperature 15 to 30 degree centigrade higher than the reaction 1 and 2 carried out by Ganguly 1969. Presence of stolite along with kyanite is a diagnostic of this phases. Stolite appears in those that are richer in Al2O3 and FeO and poor in alkalis as shown by the Hosek 1967. Important reaction, the impure calcareous rocks, diapsite and gracilorite form by the following reaction. Reaction number 4 that is trimolite plus 3 calcite plus 2 quartz give rise to 5 diapsite 3 CO2. Reaction 5, epidote plus quartz give rise to gracilorite plus anorthite plus 2 water and reaction number 6, 2 epidote plus 5 calcite plus 3 quartz give rise to 3 gracilorite oblique andradite plus SiO2 plus water which occur at 500 degree centigrade 2 kilobar, 575 degree centigrade 4 kilobar by Nice 1973. Furthermore, anthophyllite appears in magnesian assemblages. Reaction 7, talc give rise to anthophyllite plus quartz plus water. For pure Mg system, the above reaction has been investigated by Greenwood 1963, who found the equilibrium temperature at 607 degree centigrade, 1 kilobar, while for a system in which Fe ratio Mg is 6 ratio 4, the reaction occur at much lower temperature that is 520 degree centigrade, 1 kilobar by Henrich Sun and Seffert 1965. Anthophyllite also appear by the reaction. Reaction number 8 is your trimolite plus chloride plus quartz give rise to hornblende plus anthophyllite plus water which occur at 560 degree centigrade 2 kilobar carried out by Chaudhary and Winkler 1966. The peltic rocks, the first assemblage is your kyanite plus stolite plus biotite plus minus muscovite plus minus quartz plus minus plagioclase. The second assemblage is your stolite plus biotite plus almondine garnet plus minus muscovite plus minus quartz plus minus plagioclase. And the third important assemblage is your almondine plus biotite plus minus muscovite plus minus quartz plus plus minus plagioclase. Quartz of Helspathic assemblage, assemblage 4 is your quartz, microclean, plagioclase, biotite, muscovite. The another important assemblage is your basic assemblage. The assemblage number 5, hornblende plus plagioclase plus almondine garnet plus minus epidote plus minus quartz plus minus biotite. Assemblage 6, hornblende plus plagioclase plus minus epidote plus minus quartz plus minus biotite. Assemblage 7 is your hornblende plus diapsite plus plagioclase plus minus epidote and plus minus quartz. The derivation tips of basic rocks are amphibolites. Many of them are garnetiferous, coexistence of plagioclase, anorthite 25 to anorthite 45 with epidote commonly presence in these rocks. Now, the next assemblage is your ultramafic ultra basic or magnesium assemblies. The assemblies number 8 is your coming tonight plus hornblende plus almondine. Assemblies 9 is your coming tonight anthophyllite, trimolite. The next important assemblies is your calcareous assemblies. The assemblies number 10 is your calcite, diapsite, gracilorite plus quartz. 11 number is your calcite plus diapsite, trimolite plus minus phlogopite. Assemblage number 12 is your diapsite, gracilorite, plagioclase 
plus phlogopite on the basis of intermediate pressure and temperature phases we have the idea about geolite phases green cis phases and now today we are discussing about amphibolite phases we have already divided the amphibolite phases on the basis of index mineral based on barovian zone that is a stolite zone kyanite Almandine zone, selenite muscovite zone, and selenite orthoclase zone. If suppose we see on the screen the ACF, AKF, AFM diagram of all the four different zones, we can observe different assemblages, particularly the peltic, quartzofelspathic, calcareous basic and ultra basic. If suppose we will move from stolite towards selenite orthoclase zone, there is a major rock type change which is cyst to Nisic rocks. As soon as the selenite form by the breakdown of kyanite to selenite at higher temperature. Selenite is a higher temperature polymorph of your aluminosilicates. As soon as the kyanite transfer to selenite, the nature of whole rock is changed. That is your Nisic in nature, where we can observe the different bands alternate light and dark colors, and the nature of rock is changed that is your Nisic. If suppose we will compare the calcareous basic and ultramafic assemblages, they are almost same as in case of a stolite zone, means very similar to a stolite zone right from a stolite to kyanite almondine zone the selenite muscovite zone and lastly the selenite orthoclase zone. The accept change, major change is your peltic assemblages. Usually one very important question is asked in all the examinations. The question is give a detailed account of regional metamorphism of peltic rocks. Then we have to describe this question on the basis of detailed studies of geolite, green cyst, amphibolite, and gaunlite faces, mainly with respect of peltic rocks. So, we can say right from stolite to selenite orthoclase zone, the nature of rock change from different type of cyst to Nisic rocks. This correspond to the kyanite isograde of Barrow. Stolite is now no more stable. It reacts with quartz in the presence of muscovite to form almondine plus kyanite plus biotite. The reaction is your stolite plus muscovite plus quartz give rise to kyanite plus biotite plus almondine garnet plus water which occur at 575 degree centigrade 2 kilobar, 675 degree centigrade 5.5 kilobar carried out by Hosek 1969. The reaction has been revised by Hosek and probably the temperature given are higher. Thus, the disappearance of stolites provide the only possibilities of the differentiating between the subfaces oblique zones 1 and 2. It is evident that the critical association kyanite plus almondine garnet is now possible, which gives the subfaces its name. It is also obvious 
that in this subfaces kyanite is much more common as compared to the stolite almandine subfaces or stolite zone because the range of chemical composition from which kyanite now form us much larger here now the next important thing is your mineral assemblages the characteristic peltic assemblages see on the diagram acf akf and afm diagram of amphibolite faces now we can observe the peltic assemblages the assemblage number 1 that is your kyanite almandine biotite muscovite quartz plesioclase second is almost same as in stolite zone and third is your almandine biotite muscovite plus minus quartz plus minus plesioclase other assemblages are same as the stolite zone mentioned already that is your basic calcareous and ultramafic the mineral assemblages of this zone oblique surfaces are similar to the kyanite zone here the kyanite is replaced by the higher temperature polymorphs of aluminosilicates that is selenite so better you replace the kyanite by selenite in all the diagrams the important mineral assemblages the typical peltic assemblages are number 1 selenite almandine biotite muscovite quartz plus minus plesioclase second is your selenite almandine plesioclase and third important assemblage is your almandine biotite muscovite quartz plesioclase muscovite which was present throughout the range of metamorphism from green schist to selenite muscovite zone of the amphibolite faces now becomes unstable it is with this breakdown of the muscovite that the selenite orthoclase zone begins the following reaction take place reaction number 10 muscovite plus quartz give rise to orthoclase plus selenite plus water which occur at 595 degree centigrade 1 kilobar 640 degree centigrade 2 kilobar by day and chatterjee 1974 with this reaction selenite is much more common as compared to the preceding zones and now it coexist with orthoclase the orthoclase kl si3o8 polymorphs of microclean is also transferred to higher temperature orthoclase furthermore under the pressure and temperature condition of this zone partial melting or anatexis of peltic rocks take place as demonstrated experimentally by tuttle and brown 1958 winkler 1967 1974 and others please see on the screen the diagram where we can see the partial melting phenomena the breakdown of the muscovite by the important reaction muscovite plus quartz give rise to orthoclase plus selenite plus water the release of water and at the same temperature the granite also melt so that is the indication of partial melting or formation of magmatites in other words also we can say even in field also we can observe this this thing thus magmatites when gneisses or lit per lit or injection gneisses are common some typical peltic and quartz felspathic assemblages first is your selenite 
almondine, orthoclase, biotite, quartz. Second important assemblies is your silimnite, orthoclase, plesioclase, a biotite, quartz. And third important is your orthoclase, plesioclase, biotite, quartz. One thing I would like to say here, whatever we have observed from green cyst up to kyanite almondine zone of amphibolite phases, we have observed the different type of cyst like chloride cyst, chloride chloritoid cyst, biotite cyst, garnet biotite cyst, garnet biotite kyanite cyst, stolite cyst, stolite kyanite cyst, stolite garnet cyst and kyanite garnet cyst etc. Now the cyst is no more stable and with appearance of selenite, the rocks change towards Nisic in nature, where we can observe in field as well as in lab the different layers that that is we can say the alternate light and dark colors. On the basis of that, we can say yes, it is a Nisic nature of a rock in field as well as in hand specimens that indicates the higher pressure temperature condition and more deformation as compared to Sistose rock. The physical condition of metamorphism can be explained with the help of low and higher temperature condition and the same way pressure condition too. The lower temperature gives the idea about the beginning of the amphibolite phases and the higher temperature gives the idea about the beginning of gaunolite phases. Lower temperature limit, the appearance of stolite is one of the most reliable indicator of the beginning of the amphibolite phases. Stolite is formed by the following reaction, chloride plus muscovite plus almondine garnet give rise to a starlite plus biotite plus quartz plus water. In fact, these reaction is are bivalent reaction. If starlite change towards chloride, that indicates your retrograde metamorphism or retrograde reaction. And similarly, if chloride change towards starlite or formation of starlites indicates your prograde reaction which occur at 540 degree centigrade 4 kilobar, 565 degree centigrade 7 kilobar carried out by Hosek 1969. Another important reaction is your chloritoid plus kyanite give rise to a starlite plus quartz plus water which occur at 540 degree centigrade 4 kilobar to 7 kilobar carried out by Hosek 1969. Richardson 1968. Upper temperature limit. The upper temperature limit is indicated by the following reaction. Muscovite plus quartz give rise to orthoclase plus selenite plus water which occur at 545 degree centigrade 1 kilobar to 622 degree centigrade 3 kilobar carried out by rover 1975. Another important reaction is your MgFe anthophyllite give rise to hypersthene plus quartz plus water which occur at 735 degree centigrade when Mg oblique Mg plus Fe ratio that is xMg equal to 0 0.6 and which occur at 775 degree centigrade when this ratio equal to 0 0.8. Mg anthophyllite equal to give rise to inestite plus quartz plus water which occur at 745 degree centigrade 1 kilobar by Greenwood 1963. Thus, the temperature condition in the amphibolite phases is considered to be in the range of 500 to 500 
50 degree centigrade to 700, 750 degree centigrade. The pressure condition, the pressure condition in the amphibolite phases is determined by the triple point of Al2 SiO5 polymorphs. We have already seen that in the amphibolite phases, kyanite form first and it is replaced by higher temperature sillimanite. This demonstrate lower temperature and pressure condition during the metamorphism must be above the triple point of Al2 SiO5. So many workers they have carried out the experimental, experimental work about the stability of triple point of aluminosilicates like the Elthmus in 1967 carried out the experimental work. He find out the triple point located at 595 degree centigrade 6.5 kilobar. Richardson et al. in 1968 find the triple point at 620 degree centigrade 5 kilobar. Newton in 1966 found the triple point at 500 degree centigrade 4 kilobar. Holdway in 1975 found the triple point at 501 degree centigrade 3.76 kilobar. In the common rocks the pressure must have exceeded about 4 kilobar when the almondine garnet is formed in peltic rocks. Horsberg and Winkler in 1986 produced almondine garnet by the reaction Fe chloride plus muscovite plus quartz give rise to almondine plus biotite plus minus aluminosilicates plus water which occur at 500 degree centigrade 4 kilobar, 600 degree centigrade 5 kilobar. The upper pressure limit may be given by the reaction albite give rise to jadeite plus quartz which occur at 200 degree centigrade 7.5 kilobar, 300 degree centigrade 9.5 kilobar. Another important reaction is chloride plus albite give rise to glaucophen carried out by the rover in 1972. As plagioclase is stable in amphibolite phases and the glaucophen and zeodite are absent, the upper pressure limit may be around 8 kilobar. Thus, it is concluded that in the amphibolite phases, metamorphism take place at 500, 550 to 700, 750 degree centigrade at pressure between 4 to 8 kilobar. The course content on the metamorphic intermediate pressure phases begin with the introduction followed by the description of Jones oblique subfaces, the important characteristics minerals in this phases, detailed description of individual Jones oblique subfaces that is stolite zone, kyanite almondine zone, sillimanite muscovite zone and finally sillimanite orthoclase zone with the help of the ACF, AKF and AFM diagrams and the mineral assemblages for the peltic, basic and calcareous rocks, important reactions and finally the physical condition of metamorphism during amphibolite phases. On the basis of the important reaction like the stolite is formed by the reaction chloride plus muscovite plus almondine garnet give rise to stolite plus biotite plus quartz plus water which occur at 540 degree centigrade 4 kilobar, 565 degree centigrade 7 kilobar carried out by Hosek. 1969 and breakdown of muscovite in presence of quartz give rise to orthoclase plus sillimanite plus water which occur at 540 degree centigrade 1 kilobar to 620 degree centigrade 3 kilobar carried out by Rovar in 1974 indicates the upper stability of this phases 
and also formation of hypersthin by the breakdown of anthophyllite support the upper stability and the beginning of the gyanolite phases. The reaction Mg anthophyllite give rise to anestite plus quartz plus water which occur at 745 degree centigrade 1 kilobar by Greenwood 1963. Thus, on the basis of detailed study of different zones and also with the support of experimental data, we can conclude during amphibolite phases, the temperature varies between 500 to 550 to 700, 750 degrees centigrade and pressure between 4 to 8 kilobar.